Welcome back fellow interlopers. In today's video we're going to be doing permadeath and this is episode 2. So we need to build a shower. So it says your habitation program initializing. Build foundations. So let's build a timber floor. And we don't have any carbon. Let's go and get some carbon. No carbon there. Let's go and scan some of this flora. Show us some of these other carbon. That's ferrite dust. It's no good. We need carbon. Scan this. Usually these like plants for carbon, there's carbon, there we go, let's mine some of this. I think we need a lot more than that because I think we needed 10 per floor panel. Just harvest these and once I've got enough, we'll jump back to it. Let's see how much we've got now. Should have enough to make four panels. Timber floor panel. So there's one. Make four. Probably going to have to go and get more cabins. We're going to have to make walls and roofs and other bits and bobs, I think. Can't make a roof now because we don't have any walls. We've got enough materials for the roof, so let's make some some walls on our door. Guaranteed, I'm going to run out here. Yep, there we go. Let's go and get some more carbon. So we know how to do that. So we'll be back shortly once I've got enough. Okay, let's build some more walls and a door, hopefully. Hopefully I've harvested enough carbon here. Let's put this door in. Very basic shower. Some real problems with the render view in this. So. The video is not keeping up with the recordings. I don't know what's going on. Hope for next week I'll have my new Mac. So, need more carbon. Just harvest more of this, or mine more of this. I don't know how many episodes this is going to take to get to the galaxy core, but obviously this is just like starting the game all over again. Yeah. Never tried permadeath, I'm sure I'm going to die at some point and waste hours of my time, but you know what, if you don't try... I think it's the only achievement that I've not got in the game is reach the like, galaxy core from permadeath. I'll just keep harvesting this stuff as much as we can and head back. Obviously in permadeath, the key to this game when you're starting is get as much carbon, oxygen, ferrite, dust, uh, dihydrogen as you possibly can. And your slots are obviously very small in this, you don't get a thousand in your slots, you only get 250, which is quite small. You just have to work around what you've got. So we've learned a new base computer part, construction research unit. 
I won't fall get enough carbon now. Let's just jump into a quick save here. We'll build the rest of the shower. Okay, let's build the rest of these walls and get the roof done. Should have enough carbon now. Last wall, and so the wall's done. The first roof tail on now. I need to jump up here and put the rest of the roof tails on. There you go. We should, just need four of these. And then we should have an airtight shelter. The snap tools and the build menu are not great, are they? Us. And we've got an automatic door on the inside. And we're there tight. Let's just top up with a life support here. Just to make sure we're at full capacity. Don't want to go outside and run out. And we can start populating this shelter. So I think what we need to do is I think we need a portable refiner. Stick it in here inside. Okay, some carbon there, tubes, carbon nanotubes, and we can create a construction research unit. You know. Materials for that. Just create that in the corner. It's a very basic shower, very basic stuff. Right, what can we research in here? Analysis unit online diagnostic suggestions. Users should recover salvage data by the technology equipment utilized in analysis analysis visor. Okay. I think we want to research about the technology. We've got no salvage data, so these are all the things that we can create, just like a normal save. We're going to have to go and salvage some data from some buried tech. Next task is to locate buried technology, but let's just have a real see what we need to update here. Right, so we'll get the launch thrusters are empty. So we need to put some Starship launch fuel in. I don't think we've got any, and I don't think we can craft any. Just have a wee look about the menus here. I think I need some dihydrogen for that. Don't appear to have any. Yep, so I need some dihydrogen. I've got metal plating, so let's go out and get some dihydrogen and we'll come back. Create some Starship launch fuel. Oh, we're not going to be able to go off the planet again. Just do a bit of mining here. You do forget how much mining and refining you need to do in this game. Hmm. Johnny Mailstone now. Drift up travel 10 KS. Yeah, we have more collection of uh, minerals. Grab some fairy dust here and whatever else is round about us. So 
No pay hydrogen now. Now we have enough pay hydrogen. I'm sure, I think. Actually, I'm just going and do some refining. Starship launch fuel, and we'll top up the launch thrusters. Okay, we're good with that. We can now take off if we like. We've got no slots left though. Get rid of this circuit powder. And we're going to do it with that. We're going to find the glass. There's carbon on there. Technology recharging. And we'll refine the silicate powder, I think. Into glass. So we'll probably need that at some point in the future. So stick that and refine it. We'll refine that. Okay, glass is refined. Get rid of some stuff out of the inventory. And we'll just drop that back in with exosuit. Still got some silicate powder left there, but we can get rid of that. Rusted metal, we'll get rid of that, we don't need that. Else we've got here. We've got some navigation data here. We can build some tech. So Oxygen recycler that will help with life support. We need oxygen though, so. Let's install that, and we'll need to go and find another 32 oxygen. So, go for a wee adventure and see if we can find some oxygen. Where we scan. Any oxygen? On the scanner. Oxygen's hard to find. There we are, some here. There's some more over there. Some bad houses in there as well. Grab that over here. And get some of it. Some fauna flying about here, we can scan, get some units. by hydrogen now. Let's grab as much as we can. protection back up by going into the still short oxygen 
so I'm banging it short to get the radiation protection back up. Still needing some more oxygen. I'm going to have to go back out again. Do another scan. I can't see me with much oxygen in fact, you know, there's some there. Radiation protection falling. I've got 16 there. How much more do we need? Can't do much more wild. There's some sodium in there. Yeah, get some sodium. Sodium's always good for your eyes of protection. And your life support. Technology okay, life support's about low. It's about halfway, so. Top of this minion beam. Technology recharge. Life support, up to full capacity. More corner, scan that, get some more units. units Just about broke the hard bit of this pyramid of death. Famous last words. We don't want that. Good. Good, I don't it's called. Starship launch fuel from that, that was handy. Right, we're getting enough oxygen. Yeah, we're getting enough now for that. So, the recycler. That'll give us a wee bit more life support. And we really should be putting those adjacent to each other. See where's the life support? I'll move that down there and we'll move the life support in next to the recycler in next to the life support, which gives a wee bonus. You see it's went blue border all around them. So we're plus ten percent life support tanks. Better than nothing. Craft some stuff here. Plenty of life support gel, so should be okay for a wee while. Let's go and scan for some buried technology. See if we can get some salvage data. Put it up No, that's not what we want for. There's some. Buried technology there, 700 views away. Let's head over there and see what we can get. No, inventory's full, so we're going to have to dump something. So. Let's get rid of that silica powder because we can get that anywhere. Let's go on. Let's see if we can get the technology now. So we've got salvage data times two. Which is always to build something. Radiation protection so we're headed back to the ship because of the storm. Uh, the best place to be when the storm is in your ship or in a shelter or actually mine a hole because that will bring your radiation protection levels, hazard protection level back up. Thanks for watching guys, give me a wee thumbs up if you like us, subscribe, click the notification bell if you want to see any notifications for upcoming video releases. And on this screen, there'll be some links to my other videos. Uh, please give them a wee click.
and if you would like to leave a comment, please keep them constructive. Uh, and thanks again for watching. Bye.